this is the question of uh, 2012 may june paper 2 3 and the question number is one so actually we are not discussing about uh, the differences between quantities uh, distance and displacement or Lorentz first law my main focus is on this this question so because it's concerned with vectors and it requires a bit uh, a longer treatment it says that two tugs tugs here pull a tanker at constant velocity so that means uh, uh, v v equal to constant constant in the direction x y so x y as represented in figure 1.1 1.1 uh, tug 1 tug 1 pulls the tanker with a force t1 uh, at 25.0 degree to x y so this is the angle tug 2 pulls the tanker with a force of uh, uh, T2 at 15.0 degree to XY given here the resultant force due to the two tux is uh, 25.0 into 10 to the power 3 Newton in the direction XY so these two forces give resultant along this direction which is this much so resultant force is this much now the first question says that by reference to the forces acting on the tanker explain how the tanker may be described as being in equilibrium so we have to uh, prove that uh, the tanker is in equilibrium so the uh, first thing i uh, clearly stated is we have got constant velocity constant velocity means that so if a v equal to constant v equal to constant then e equal to zero resultant a equal to zero which means a force resultant on the boat or the tanker is equal to zero so this is condition number one for equilibrium and the second condition is that when it is being pulled like this this tanker is not rotating at all it is not rotating at all so that means the torque resultant on the tanker is also equal to zero so these two conditions fulfill the conditions required for uh, for an object to be in equilibrium so that's why we can say that the tanker is in equilibrium so uh, being in equilibrium does not mean that it has to be at rest so though it is moving it can be in equilibrium if it fulfills the two conditions now in the next question what you have to do is we have to complete figure 1.2 this is the figure 1.2 to draw a vector triangle for the forces forces r where r is the uh, resultant as it is given here r is the resultant and here r is represented by this straight line like this uh, so we have to draw the vector triangle for the forces r t1 and t2 so what we need to realize that t1 and t2 combine to form r t1 and t2 combine to form r so that also means that that also means that if we draw we draw uh, t1 t2 and r in a in a uh, in a triangle in a triangle uh, what we can have is we should have a closed figure we should have a closed figure so the starting point here starting point uh, of the uh, two forces t1 and t2 so first we have to draw one force here t1 suppose and from t1 then we have to draw t2 t2 and which will then give this r so for that purpose what what we need to do is we have to draw t1 from here t1 from here in such a way that it uh, makes the same angle 25 degree with the with this direction so it has to make an angle 25 degree with uh, this direction so what i do is since uh, i don't have a, a protractor right now with me i will use a scale i use a scale to draw this figure so let me uh, let me draw a perpendicular here so let me draw perpendicular from here so i give you a technique here so this is the perpendicular just for construction purpose and this is another perpendicular just for construction purpose so uh <coughs> let me measure this measure this so this is about uh, about 4.5 uh, centimeter 4.5 centimeter and here let me measure this so this is about uh, 
about 2.25 uh, centimeters so here at a distance of about uh, let me measure it once again at a distance of about 4.5 centimeter I have to raise this thing by 2.25 millimeter so let's do it let's do it here so at a distance of about 4.5 centimeter I have to raise it by about 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 raise it by about 2.25 centimeters so up to here like this so I need to draw this as uh, force T1 so this will be force T1 this will be force T1 so let me draw it so how much length is required we'll, we'll show later now then I have to draw this uh, this also so what I, I have here is so at uh, the length of about two uh, the length of about to about 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 from so from here to here I have the length as uh, 4.9 uh, centimeter at 4.9 centimeter it has gone down by about to uh, about to 1.1.2 1.3 centimeter so at 4.9 it has gone by about 1.3 so let me draw it here so here so I will come back from here so at 4.9 at 4.9 4.9 4 4.9 4.9 I have to come back about to 1.3 1.3 so, so here it should be uh, 1.3 so let me draw it like this so this is 3 here and this is 1.3 so now if I join these things if I join this it will be will be will be this will be vector T2 so this will be T1 so this thing will be T1 let me draw it a bit, bit uh, in a bold manner so this will be T1 this will be T1 and this is T2 so this angle is 25 degree and this angle will be 15 degree so this angle and the angle here should are equal because they are vertically opposite so now this thing is 25 uh, kilo Newton so let me measure the, its length so about a 12.3 so 12.3 centimeter is equal to 25.0 into 10 to the power 3 Newton so with this measurement we have to find the values of T1 and T2 so let's measure T2 so this thing is its length is uh, about 5.0 so from here uh, let us do it like this one centimeter is equal to 25.0 into 10 to the power 3 by 12.3 newton so therefore here t1 is equal to this so is t1 this is t2 t1 is equal to equal to equal to let's uh, measure it uh, uh, once again it is a uh, 5.0 of course so equal to 5.0 centimeter in this diagram that's equal to 25.0 into 10 to the power 3 by 12.3 into 5.0 and again t2 should be equal to let me measure its uh, length in uh, uh, centimeter so it is 8.8.1 uh, so 8.1 centimeter and that's equal to 25.0 into 10 to the power 3 by 12.3 into 8.1 centimeter so let me fetch my calculator and we'll do the uh, calculations then so 
So uh, in my calculator, let me put the uh, values. So I have got, uh, uh, I've got uh, 25,000 into 5 divided 12.3. So equal to, it is, uh, it is about, about, about. Uh, 10,163 Newton and uh, the next one is next one is next one is 25,000 into 8.1 divided 12.3 and that becomes equal to 16,000 so this is 16,463 Newton so if I write in it in a shortcut form, it will be 1.02 into 10 to the power of 4 Newton. And here will be 1.65 into 10 to the power of 4 Newton. So these are the values of the forces according to the calculation.